I love the switch. I love the Pro Controller. And today's video is sponsored by the Fixter S1. And what this is, is this is a device that allows you to combine your Pro Controller with your switch and take it on the go. It's perfectly balanced. It has an ability to charge your controller with a bypass. It fits nice in the hands. It's ergonomic. It has a metal clip. There's also a case that you can pre-order and you can order both of these. This is a great way to take your Pro Controller with your Switch on the go all in one package. Store it like this and put it in the case like that. If you'd like to order the Fixer S1, the link will be below. Everybody has their go-to Switch games and I have mine. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my five go-to Nintendo Switch games. You know, there's over 3,000 games now in the library. And you know, there's a lot of good, there's a lot of bad. There's also those games and everybody has them where they it's their go-to game. It could be an older game, it could be a game that they just like to play. I have mine and in today's video, I'm gonna share the five go-to games that I go to on the Switch. So I hope you enjoy this video, let's take a look. Horizon Chase Turbo is a perfect blend of retro and indie. I love this game. I keep going back to it. I'm not the best at it. There's a lot of additional features and there is DLC. There is a physical version of this game. Several locations, different tracks, different cars. You can upgrade your cars and get additional perks to make the car handle and drive faster, better acceleration. I love this game. I keep going back to it. It has a perfect blend of arcade feel, but there's enough where you can go back. There's there's things, so many things to unlock in this game, you know, and it really encourages you to retry and re-race a track to get everything. Tons and tons of replayability. I love this game for that reason. You know, a lot of racing games are too simple or too complicated. This is a perfect blend. I love this game. It's got an amazing soundtrack, great gameplay. This is a perfect game to take on the go with your Switch. I think this would be a wonderful option for many people. This is a game that I really enjoy. I have it on several different platforms, Steam and PS4 as well. Check this one out if you're looking for a nice blend of a retro racing game with a lot of content here. You can't go wrong with Horizon Chase Turbo. Have you played this one? If you have, let me know what you think of it as it's one of my go-to games. I talked about this game, Enter the Gungeon, with a friend of mine, Jay of Square Pegs. Check out his channel, link below. And this is an amazing roguelike. I know it's on Steam. I absolutely love this game. And it actually, it's gonna be free soon coming up on the PlayStation 4 as one of their free games. I absolutely love this game. So much to do. There's tons of unlockables. It is very difficult though. And sometimes you die quite a bit before making any progress. But essentially you guide one of various misfits with different weapons and abilities through various areas. You meet people, you unlock secrets, you unlock areas, you get shortcuts. This is an awesome bullet hell roguelike with an absolute ton of replayability and content. It's kind of a theme today of the games. I like to go back. I don't like to just beat a game and be done with it. I like the games such as these, which have so much content and take a long time to kind of fully unlock everything. There's just so many different enemies. It even tracks on like how you die. <laughs> and it's a pretty challenging game. And so I highly recommend it and it's gonna be available to many more people coming up as it's gonna be one of the free games that PlayStation offers. I love myself some compilation games and the Sega Genesis Classics is a wonderful compilation. It's on all the current consoles. I like the Nintendo Switch one because you can take it on the go. It has 50 games on it. Some of the very best Sega Genesis offer. Here's Streets of Rage 2, one of my all-time favorites. And there's online multiplayer. Now, is this perfect? No, but what's cool is it has save states, it has rewind features, some of those 
modern options that make some of these classic games a little bit more playable. And so Gain Ground, another game that Sega created that really is overlooked. I love this game. I beat it with a friend. I love the Genesis version and can go back and just play this over and over again. It's just one of those games where I don't get tired of it. I like to go back and play it. I love the music. I love the gameplay. You know, Game Ground is such an iconic game for me and one of the reasons why I fell in love with the Sega Genesis. Gosh, there's just so many great games on this compilation. You know, there's Shinobi 3. This is a must play. One of the better Shinobi games made. Just everything about this compilation is great. Now, it's missing a couple games from previous releases of the Sega Genesis Classics. But you know what? It's pretty solid. With 50 games, you can't go wrong. There's going to be several games on this compilation that you're going to want to check out. It's affordable. I could go on and on, but it's just kind of my go-to. You know, if I want to uh, play Sega Genesis on a modern console, you know, the Switch collection is great and you can't go wrong it's portable it looks great it plays great and what is your favorite have you played this collection i want to know what games you like on this compilation as i kind of lean towards action games i, I wish i had more time for you know games such as fantasy star i i don't and so these action style games are just kind of a quick pick up and play where I can get right into the action. I love that there's challenges and extra things on this compilation as well. It really adds to the replayability. Being a huge Torchlight fan, I was really excited to find Torchlight 2 being ported to the Switch. I think it's a great fit, plays and looks great. Played this on Steam quite a bit. Since playing this at PAX years back, I have not looked back and it's just fantastic. And restarted a character and, you know, really enjoying playing this game yet again. And so there's so much here. There's great loot, level up. I love the graphics, wonderful sound. If you are a fan of Diablo, you may want to check this out. It does look a little different. It's less dark. It's more cartoony. I love the pet system. This is a wonderful dungeon crawler and a great multiplayer option with friends. I love this game. And this is Ghouls and Ghosts. And I'm playing this on Capcom Arcade Stadium on the Switch. And it's part of the first pack, Dawn of the Arcade. I could just keep playing this over and over again. I don't get tired of this game. I play this game every year. I love it. I beat it. It's just... Everything you would want, an arcade game, great animation, great graphics, uh, great replayability. Sometimes I'll pick up kind of a less desired weapon <laughs> and try to get as far as I can in the game. And so I really, really enjoy everything about this. This was really kind of the heyday for me of, of arcade gaming as well as just playing the home version on the Sega Genesis, one of my favorites. See, I'm going to pick this up. Not the greatest weapon, but you know what? It's kind of fun sometimes to challenge yourself and see how far you can get. So I really enjoy playing these types of games, these action arcade style games. Uh, there were several on Nintendo even that I enjoyed playing, but this was just kind of the sweet spot. It really showed the wonderful graphics that Capcom could produce back in the day. It was really just ahead of everybody else. And I just, absolutely enjoy playing this all the time this is definitely my probably number one go-to game if i had to choose any game in my collection it would be this and so really enjoy it if you haven't played it it is very challenging you have to beat it twice to get the proper ending but you know i really enjoy games such as this and going back and revisiting the arcade version on the switch i still think it's the best of the series the creatures, the music, oh my goodness. There's just, everything about this game is just an A plus with me. I still get the satisfaction of beating a level or beating a boss time and time again. So there you have it. Those are the five games that I typically will play on my Nintendo Switch if I have some downtime. I decided to not show kind of a Mario Kart Legend of Zelda or Mario Odyssey. I typically gravitate towards some indie games, 
But you know, there's some classics that I love to go back and play as Nintendo Switch has such a vast library. It was nice to share some of my favorite games on the console. What are yours? Comment below, I'd love to hear your picks. What do you choose for the Nintendo Switch when you have some downtime or love to play? I'd love to hear. And thank you as always. Hit that like and subscribe button and click the bell if you like what you see. And thank you for the ongoing positive support. Let's keep it going. This is the Immortal John Hancock. Thank you for watching today's video and you have a good day.